Insects that have evolved to coexist with or even profit from the presence of ants are just as numerous as those that have evolved to avoid or run from ants. Many insects, however, dread ants for a variety of reasons, which make them worth further investigation. But before that, subscribe to our channel. 1. Ants have evolved to live in colonies. Ants are sociable insects, depending on the species. These colonies can range in size from a few individuals to millions of individuals. Ant colonies are highly organized and efficient, with each individual performing a specific role within the colony. Ant social structure is one of their most distinctive and useful characteristics. Ants have evolved to cooperate with one another and plan their actions in order to accomplish their objectives. This helps them to quickly and efficiently assemble a huge number of people to defend their territory or attack prey. When an ant colony is attacked, the ants will swiftly raise the alarm and recruit reinforcements from other regions of the colony. This enables them to rally a large number of people to defend their territory or attack a predator. If an ant colony is attacked by a predator, such as a bird or lizard, the ants will swarm around the predator and continuously bite or sting it. Even much larger predators can be overwhelmed by the sheer number of ants. Ant social structure also enables them to divide labor and specialize in various jobs. In the highly organized case structure of ants, several individuals play various responsibilities within the colony. For instance, some ants are workers and are in charge of activities like searching for food, taking care of the young, and constructing and maintaining the nest. Soldier ants are those who guard the colony against predators and other ant colonies. Other ants are reproductive, which means they mate and give birth to young. Ants are able to do their jobs quite effectively thanks to their specialization. For instance, worker ants that are experts at finding food may swiftly find it and bring it back to the colony. Soldier ants with a defense focus can act swiftly to attack other ant nests or predators by dividing up the work into distinct jobs according to the demands of the colony. Ants are also able to adapt to changing environmental conditions. Ants are also very adaptable, and they can modify their social structure and behavior in response to shifting circumstances to protect themselves against a shared foe. For instance, some ant colonies will temporarily band together with other ant colonies. As a result, they can pool their resources to create a stronger, larger force. Ants have developed a range of physical modifications in addition to their social structure that help them in their roles as predators and protectors. For instance, many ant species have strong jaws that they employ to subjugate food or adversaries. Some ants can inject venom into other insects or predators using their stingers. 2. Ants are renowned for their aggression and for being able to protect their nest from intruders and dangers by defending it. Numerous ant species have developed strong jaws or stingers that they employ to subjugate food or foes. Some ant species have developed strong mandibles, or teeth, which they employ to seize and control food. These mandibles, which are frequently powerful and pointed, enable the ants to pierce tough objects like plant stalks or the exoskeletons of other insects. Some ant species even have unique hook-shaped mandibles that they can use to grasp their food and keep it from running away. Other ant species have developed stingers that they use to deliver poison into other insects or predators. These stingers, which are frequently found at the ant's abdomen tip, are used to protect the colony from predators and other ant colonies. These insects inject poison into their food or foes, which can result in discomfort, paralysis, or even death. The trap jaw ant, which has some of the strongest and quickest mandibles in the animal world, is an example of an ant with robust jaws. One of the fastest moving structures in the animal world is the mandible of the trap jaw ant, which can shut it up to 140 miles per hour. These ants protect their community from predators and catch and subjugate prey with the help of their strong mandibles. The bullet ant, which is renowned for having one of the most agonizing stings in all of bug life, is another illustration of an ant with a potent venom. A bullet ant gets its name from the fact that its bite is said to feel like being fired. When bullet ants inject their venom, it can result in severe discomfort, bruising, and muscle spasms that can last for several hours. 
Numerous ant species have developed complex social behaviors that enable them to protect their colony and area in addition to their physical defenses. The ants will quickly raise the alarm and call in reinforcements from other areas of the colony when an ant colony is in danger. This enables them to gather a sizable group of people to protect their area or engage a predator. 3. Ants use chemical signals called pheromones to interact with one another and plan their activities in addition to their physical defenses and social behaviors. Chemical substances known as pheromones are generated by a person and recognized by other individuals of the same species. Pheromones are used by ants for a number of things, such as marking trails, attracting nestmates, and coordinating foraging or defense. Ants can organize their actions and react swiftly to shifting environmental circumstances thanks to the effective and quick communication provided by these chemical signals. The labeling of trails is one of the most significant applications of pheromones in ants. When an ant locates a food source, it will return to the colony, leaving a path of chemicals in its wake. These pheromones will be detected by other ants, who will then track the scent to the food supply. As more ants travel a path, they will also leave behind their own chemicals, strengthening and facilitating further travel. This method, known as positive feedback, enables ants to rapidly and successfully enlist a significant number of workers to a food supply. When the food supply is exhausted, the trail eventually disappears as the pheromones wear off. Pheromones are another recruitment tool used by ants, especially when a large number of laborers are required rapidly. An ant colony, for instance, will rapidly sound the alert and release pheromones to entice workers from other areas of the colony when it is being attacked by a predator. This enables them to organize a sizable group of people to protect their settlement. Pheromones are also used by ants for social control and nestmate identification in addition to trail marking and recruitment. The mix of pheromones that each ant colony produces gives it a distinct chemical identity. Ants can distinguish between friends and enemies by identifying other ants in their community using these chemicals. 4. Aphids, mealybugs, and scale insects are just a few examples of the other organisms with which many kinds of ants have mutualistic interactions, as hemipterans. These insects consume plant juice using specialized mouthparts called stylets. Hemipterans create honeydew, a sweet liquid which ants gather and eat in return for defense from predators and pathogens. Ants will frequently move groups of hemipterans from one plant to another, while guarding them from predators and pathogens. Trophobiosis is the term for this behavior, which gives ants a dependable food supply while also protecting the hemipterans. Ants may even bring the hemipterans back to their nests in some instances, where they will build specific rooms to shelter them. A number of ant species that have especially intimate relationships with their hemipteran companions have developed this trait, known as myrmecotrophy. Ants are very cautious of their hemipteran companions because they have a close connection with them. Insects that might feed on them, as well as other predators and parasites, will be fiercely defended by them in their hemipteran groups. This implies that other insects that try to eat hemipterans may also come into contact with the ant's anger. For instance, ladybirds and lacewings are common in the same environments as ant nests and are natural predators of aphids and mealybugs. They might be assaulted and chased away if they try to eat hemipterans that are being cared for by ants. Ants will occasionally participate in open conflict with other ant nests to gain access to hemipterans. Large populations of ants on both ends of these conflicts may act aggressively by biting, stinging, and spraying acid, which can result in intense conflicts. Mutualism, in which both species gain from their contact, can be seen in the connection between ants and hemipterans. The hemipterans are shielded from predators and pathogens and have access to food supplies that they otherwise would not have. In exchange, the ants get a consistent supply of honeydew as sustenance and extra security for their nests and communities. Hope you now got to know why many insects are afraid of ants. If you did then please like and share the video.